What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get free Wi-Fi. The app behind this one is called Instabridge, and it's available for free on Google Play, so search it by name to get it installed. And actually, saying that it's just free Wi-Fi doesn't quite do the app justice. It's a crowdsourced project that allows users to share passwords for Wi-Fi connections that they've used. So let's open it up and check out the setup process. First, Instabridge will ask if you are a new user or not. Obviously, if this is your first time using the app, press I am new, and then after that, review and accept the terms of service. Next, it will ask you to verify your phone number. This is not required, but it allows your friends to find you if they install the app. So hit skip if you don't want to verify, or hit OK, and a text message will be sent to verify your phone number. After all that's taken care of, you'll get a chance to review your settings. The app will automatically connect to networks that you save for your own personal use, but you can also set it to automatically connect to friends' networks, or even the crowdsourced community networks. After that, you can set it to use your phone to help the cause by allowing Instabridge to find and test open networks. Finally, there's an option for sending data about your usage to help the developers refine the app. So when you're satisfied with all your selections, just hit the Done button up top. At this point, if you're already connected to a Wi-Fi network, Instabridge will ask you if you want to save this connection. So hit Yes, and then it'll ask you to put in the password. Don't worry though, if you're uncomfortable sharing your Wi-Fi password with the public, you won't be forced to share it. Because on the next screen, you get a chance to choose who you'd like to share this connection with. You can choose to share with your friends, which would be an easy way to let your friends log into your Wi-Fi, or you can share it with the public at large, which is a bit of a security risk. But if this were a public Wi-Fi access point that I happen to have the password for, I could share it without worrying about security. Since this is my home Wi-Fi though, I'm going to set it to just me, no one else. So that does it for the initial setup, and now we can take a look at the actual app. The main screen shows you the Wi-Fi networks that you can currently connect to, as well as other Wi-Fi networks within range. Then there's the Statistics tab that shows you how many people have used the Wi-Fi networks that you have shared. But the last tab is where the free Wi-Fi comes into play. You get a map of all the crowdsourced connections in Instabridge's database. So if you're in an area without cell coverage, or you're using a tablet that doesn't come with mobile data, you can just skim through these to find a nearby connection. The gray dots represent usable Wi-Fi connections that require you to pay or have other restrictions like that. The pink dots are all open and ready to be connected to. As you can see, there are already tons of access points that you can connect to for free. And as more folks use Instabridge, the list will continue to grow. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.